My name is Dalton Hanna. I'm 25 years old. I really did love her, but nutrition and fitness. What is going on YouTube? As you can tell by the title of this video, I tried out for the Bachelorette season of 2021. So before I show you my audition tape, I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what the process was that I went through and how far I got. Um, Cause you know, it was, it was kind of interesting. So basically my cousin submitted me. She's been a big, big time fan of the show for years. They watch it when it's on every week. So I've, I've seen the show before, but you know, it was a long, long time ago when I was a lot younger. My mom would always watch it, my sisters. So I'd watch a few episodes. So I, I know about the show and all that, but, and I actually know a few people that have actually been on the show as well. So basically my cousin, you know, I've, I was recently single. So, and obviously they're casting for the new season. So my cousin was like, Hey, I'm going to smit you for the bachelorette. And I was like, all right, you know, what do I have to lose? Sure. Go for it. And I honestly wasn't even, you know, expecting anything of it. And then about two weeks later, I got a call from the casting producer. And basically, I think it was just to make sure that I'm a real person. Uh, so they basically uh, had a quick conversation and then she followed up with an email. And at this point, I don't know how many guys were submitted and how many they chose out of all that. Uh, so I guess I made it past the first round. And then in the email that she sent me, it was instructions for the next steps. Basically, I had to submit like a five minute video, which is the video I'm gonna show you, and then fill out a pretty in-depth application, kind of like a, a job application. And then that was pretty much it. So I created the video with help from my cousin and her boyfriend. So I created the video, filled out the application, sent it back. And then about, I think it was about three to four weeks later, I got another call from the casting producer. They said they love the video and they'd like to meet me in person. So about a week later, I met them in LA at their studio, ABC studio in LA. Now, because of the COVID-19 restrictions, they didn't do it like they normally would do it. Normally we would go into the studio. I would meet all the casting producers, all that, but, this time it was just, we had to meet outside. Um, I was able to take my mask off because obviously they wanted to see me, but they had their mask on. It was just two casting producers. We just had like a 10, 20 minute conversation. I got some goodie, like a t-shirt, a bag and stuff. And then uh, they said, you know, it was nice to meet you and uh, we'll be in contact for the next steps. So, and then that was it. So I didn't hear anything after that. So I made it a few rounds in, you know, I don't know, for whatever reason, I wasn't chosen. I'm not worried about it. Everything happens for a reason. But, you know, I thought I'd show you guys this video because it's pretty funny. And uh, I actually got pretty emotional in, uh, in one part of it. I was getting a little teary eyed actually. So, yeah, so here's the video and hope you like it. Thank you, ABC, for this amazing opportunity. My name is Dalton Hanna. I'm 25 years old and I'm a personal trainer. So I'm originally from Riverside, California. That's how I was born and raised but I currently live in Costa Mesa, California. I rent a room from my landlord. He's awesome landlord, even better dude. I do have one pet, a Maltese white fluff ball. He still lives with my parents in Riverside, California. So I got two older sisters. My middle sister got married a year ago and she has a kid that was just born a few months ago. So that's really exciting. And my older sister, 
is having a kid on the way and she just got engaged. So I'm an uncle to two kids now, which is really exciting. And it's especially exciting because, you know, I've visualized that for myself, getting married, having kids. So I'm so happy for them, exciting times. My parents are, they did such a good job raising me. I'm so grateful for my parents. They met, you know, funny story actually, um, the job that my mom was working, my dad randomly shows that office. Um, he had moved, just recently moved from Texas to California. So he randomly chose an office, walked into that office that my mom had to, happened to be working in. And as soon as my mom saw my dad, she said, she turned to my grandma, which is the owner of the company. And she said, mom, I'm gonna marry that man one day. And I don't know about you, but that gives me chills because that, that's like an, a magical moment. And you know, you never know, like, Love can strike in an instant. You know, you see somebody and you know you can fall in love instantly. You know, it's it's amazing how it works. So I have had one serious relationship in my life. And you know, I've always been the type of guy that you know I wanna wait until it's I really know it's the right girl for me before I truly commit to her. And this last relationship we had great chemistry, we got along great. I really did love her, but you know, there's, I came to a point where I realized our core values just didn't line up. You know, to me, that's, that's the most important part is having those core values line up. And for me, it's those biblical views, those, those faith-based views. And you know, it, I had a make a tough decision to end the relationship. And it was a, a really hard decision. And I was in a dilemma because I love this girl, but I knew that God had something better for me. And, you know, it was caused a lot of pain and it caused a lot of heartache. But, you know, I had to make the decision to break up with her and I was absolutely heartbroken and you know I you know I would get on my knees and pray to God that you know give me an answer because I don't know what to do and because I really love this person and I I realized that you know God had someone better for me so I had to leave that relationship and you know, for about a year, about a year, I, I went into depression and I was in a lot of pain and I dealt with a lot of regret because, you know, I didn't know, like, you know, did I make the right decision, God? Like, did I, should I be with her? Is she the one for me? And I don't know. God has those answers. And, you know, if, if this show gives me the opportunity to experience that love, because that love is, that's what I'm looking for, that deep connection with somebody that, you know, you, you, someone that knows you better than anybody else, and someone that I can get to know more than anybody else, and I think that is, that is true love. And I think that God has somebody that, someone special for you that He has planned out. And, you know, if this show gives me an opportunity to have that, then that would be an absolute honor. So some of my favorite hobbies to do is I love traveling. You know, if I could just retire and travel the world, I would in a second. Um, I also love socializing with friends and family, you know, just hanging out with getting to know, having fun, just getting some drinks. I love doing that. Um, I love also reading, you know, for fun, I could just, if it's a subject that I really want to learn, I could just sit there and read all day long. I love reading. In fact, uh, one of my favorite things to do is just, you know, go to the beach and, you know, read my Bible or read a book and just kind of be in nature and just enjoy the scenery, the noise, the nature, noises of the ocean, the waves, and just, you know, enjoy being outside, you know, under the sun. 
Um, also really love boating. You know, boating is one of my passions. You know, I have a boat, actually. I take it to the river with my friends and family. Um, you know, I, one of the things that I really love doing actually is taking my boat, you know, with my girlfriend. You know, funny enough, I'm actually sewing my boat right now because I don't have a girlfriend. So hopefully through the show, I can bring my wife on my boat, which would be my absolute dream. So one of my special talents is, yeah, I shouldn't be in there. That's right. One of my special talents is knowing what to put in the human body and what not to put in the human body. So I, I truly believe that everybody should put more emphasis on putting the right things into the human body from natural sources from this earth in order to achieve an optimal, healthy lifestyle. Um, I started working out when I was 10 years old. I you know, could stay consistent since I was 10 years old, going throughout high school, always stayed consistent. I developed this passion for optimizing the human body, both through nutrition and fitness. Now let me show you some of the favorite things that I like to do. So as you saw, I love working out. I'm a fitness enthusiast and I hope one day I get to share all of my passions with the love of my life. Thank you so much again for this opportunity and I look forward to the next step in this process.